Now I'm curious to hear if the gearbox can be as versatile as the player whose name is on the pedal. So can it go from lightly overdriven stuff to more metal-ish type of tone? Because Andy Wood can play just about anything. I can't, but I'm going to try and be as versatile as I can. I'm going to go with some early 2000-ish type metal and maybe some 90s stuff in between. So let's see what it sounds like with a riff from My Dying Bride. <laughs>
Now I'm going to show you what the gate can do. So I'm going to stack both pedals together. It's pretty high gain right now. And like I've said before, both side of the pedal is pretty low noise. But obviously when you start to stack things together, that's where you start to get, you know, some noisy background. So let's just see what the, what that particular gate can do. And there we go. I'm not touching any metal or anything. This is just the gate doing its thing. So it clamps, but not right away on the note. So what you're hearing there, the attenuation, that's just me, like I'm gonna show you my hand so that you see what's going on there. And there you go. So awesome gate, I'm gonna take it off. Something else that's really cool with this pedal is that there are ins and outs for each side of the pedal. So if you want to, you could use each side independently or send them to a switcher. So if I would have wanted to, I could have sent the pinnacle side to let's say uh, loop four over here and send the tumnus side to loop three and I could have instantiated each pedal independently. But if you want to, you can keep it old school and just switch everything you want on the pedal itself. Plus, you can change the order of how things are stacking. So if your looper permits uh, the, the switching of the order, that's awesome, but like mine doesn't. So if you want, you can go directly on the pedal and ha either have the pinnacle going to the tumnus or the tumnus into the pinnacle. So right now, I'm gonna have to get up and look because I don't remember, I said it like 30 minutes ago. Let me see. So right now we have two going into one, which is at the bottom. So this is the sound that we're getting. Now we're gonna switch. Despite having two different pedals, a bunch of features, it can still run on 9 volts. So right now I'm plugged into a Chuck's DC5. There's a 9 volt battery in the pedal and here we go. And now we're using the pinnacle side of the gearbox. We're starting off with light gain, so I have the gain at around nine. And here we go. For this example, we're using medium gain. I've adjusted the level and the EQ to fit the taste. And here is the tone I am getting. So 
onto the single coil. 